check it out. This is the NZXT Phantom Black. This is my personal case. And I'm in the middle of cleaning and redoing the cabling because it was real novice before. I just want to give you a you know quick overview so maybe you could choose this one. It's the one I like the best. So it's got this big wide open back for cabling. Real easy. Hard drive bays. Little front panel helper. Oh, if it were to focus. Sometimes those front panels are kind of a pain in the butt to get into the, the motherboard. So uh, this little stick here, this white stick, lines it up, tells you where to put everything. You know, it's real. It was real easy. Easiest one I've ever done. This is the only one I've ever done too. Is on this next Phantom that had that. Uh, fan controls, case fan controls, eSATA, USB 3, USB at home, whatever, power button, two big old top fans, and then the front drive bays, another little fan down there, these are the front drive bays, CD drive bays, here's the hard drive bays, about six or seven of them. These are the littler ones. But uh, these are actually cool. I, I want to show you this. So you had said that you needed quick release for hard drives. Check this out. That's it. All done. And what you need to do to take it out. Do the little thumb pinchers. Pinch and pull. Put it back in this push. Pretty solid. And the uh, oops, now it's broke. Plastic protects the the board unless I just dropped it on it and toasted it. We'll see. Uh, to continue on here. Cabling in here is real easy. You can see they got those big grommets in the back. Some grommets if you want shit to reach out the back. A lot of room, a lot of area for fans, like I said, those quick release, oh, even these drive bays, I mean, I took mine out, but you don't even need to add anything to these, to the, to the CD drives, go in, go pull, hold on, I need my other hand. down for a sec. I gotta use two hands. Uh oh. Now she's stuck. There we go. There we go. Oh, there they are. A little forward. And then uh, a little lock. So you don't gotta worry about them. Well, look, I'm trying to sell this thing. It ain't working. You need two hands for this stuff. There. Oh, it was locked. Maybe? Yeah, now she's locked in. That's why it wasn't working. I had them locked. Okay, so you gotta unlock them to get them locked. That, that might have helped. Alright, so continue on here. Big old hole for your power supply. I'm in the middle of flipping this upside down. You can see I got it upside down. Oh, another thing. These little fan plates. They come with these fan filters. One of them is magnetic. To throw on the back. On the other side of that. And the other one goes in. Look at all that dust. Oh, I'm not going to move it anymore. But the other one slips into a slot under the power supply, which is real nice. 
these are real dusty so don't mind the dust this is the top top piece big ass vent for those big ass fans fan control that's going to be the front again don't mind the dust they're freaking dust this is that front front fan vent right there dry bays this is the, the very this is the front of it Let's see where the dry bays go and then this is the inside of the swinging one the one that opens up for you to swing to clean, clean it two side panel fans of it I think I'm gonna move because those little cords they tend to uh, get caught right here when I go to close it they kind of sag and they get all stuck and pain in my ass so I'm going to change them I'm going to move these filters this filter is gonna go where it's supposed to go so it's not a big open fan And the other, the other panel's not, not, nothing on there, just, just a panel. Yeah, I thought those little side-mounted ones were cool until I tried to open it and those cords just... Because the swing it open, because it swings open, it doesn't pop off, it swings open. And to swing it open enough, you gotta have some slack, but the slack causes them to drop down and they get caught right in here. Yeah, this is it, I mean, this is the one that I personally use. It's the easiest one I've, I've built ever. And the company is the one that I always try to push people to get. And especially if you're going to be breaking this thing down by yourself and cleaning. You know, this one is very, very enthusiast friendly. And designed with the... Uh, you know, with the idea that you're going to be taking it apart. Everything, pop, everything pops off real easy. These tops, the front, everything pops off real easy. I've never had a problem with breaking tabs. You know, sometimes these tabs get stuck in here and they break and then the top thing rattles. And, but no, I, this one's been the best. To, I took it apart 10, 15 times. No problems. Nothing. Yeah, that's it. I'll send you another video once it's... Uh, once I got all my cables redid.